for a PC or a laptop. First, I need to tell you, this is the current year, 2010. It's no, it's not, it wasn't made in 20, I mean, it's 2011, not 2010, sorry. 2011, not 2010, not 2009. And first, and the next thing I need to tell y'all is do not plug in y'all's, y'all's PlayStation 3i into y'all's computer and eat until y'all download all the software that that is needed okay let's get to the tutorial you need to open up your web browser go to google.com type in code laboratories wait a minute oops and there it is and you want to click on this first one that is right here Then you want to click on products. Most people click downloads, but you got to click on products. Then, you're then it's going to take you to this page. This is the one that you want to download. To download it, you got to click learn more. Make sure it's the CLI platform driver. And it shows the PlayStation 3i. To download it, don't pay any attention to that. To download it, you, have, you gotta click right here, and it'll just do the basic download of what, of downloading something. And I'm not gonna show you how to download it because I already have it. And if you don't know how to download it, you could just click right there, and it's an installation video it shows you how to do it. And when you finish the download, these two things are gonna be on your desktop. First, you need to click this one. And if it shows up your PlayStation 3i, that means you did everything correctly. And just to show y'all, this is legit and this is real look. There's a laptop. Whoa. Remember. Well, anyways. Not remember. Anyways, if, if your PlayStation 3i doesn't show up right there, you're just gonna have to keep on trying and uninstall it, uninstall the the, the drivers, and install it again until it works. And this is the end of the tutorial. Please comment, rate, subscribe, and I will comment to any comments. I will reply to any comments. Bye.